Welcome to Study with Smith Test Guide. This is a free dumb question for CCNA. If you like these videos, please subscribe to follow along with the series. Also, please like and leave a comment and share the video to help spread this free dumb question series of videos. Thanks for your help. These questions are carefully prepared after obtaining a paid subscription, but I am sharing them with you for free. They have been immensely helpful in my successful CCNA attempt. Before using these preparation questions, I strongly advise watching all of Jeremy's IT Lab videos as this was a crucial part of my preparation process. In this video we'll take a look at CCNA exam version 1.0, CCNA 200-301, to topics related questions. 1.1. Routers Let's go to question 1. What is the primary function of a router in a computer network? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is C. Transmit data between different network segments. Routers are network devices that operate at layer 3, network layer, of the OSI model. Their primary function is to forward data packets between different network segments or subnets, making routing decisions based on IP addresses. Let's proceed to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 2. Which protocol do routers use to share information about network topology and paths? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is D. Routing protocols, example OSPF, EIGRP. Routers use routing protocols, such as OSPF, Open Shortest Path First, and EIGRP, Enhanced Interior Gateway Routing Protocol, to share information about network topology and paths. These protocols enable routers to dynamically exchange routing updates and make informed decisions about the best paths for data to travel. Let's proceed to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 3. Which type of routing table entry is manually configured by an administrator and does not change unless modified? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is A. Static route. A static route is a routing table entry that is manually configured by an administrator. It specifies a fixed path for data to follow, and it does not change unless modified by the administrator. Static routes are typically used when the network topology is stable and predictable. Let's proceed to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 4. What is the purpose of network address translation, NAT, and routing? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is C. Translate private IP addresses to a single public IP address. Network address translation, NAT, is used to translate private IP addresses used within a local network into a single public IP address that is used for communication with devices on the external, public, network, such as the Internet. NAT allows multiple devices within a private network to share a single public IP address, enabling them to access the Internet while providing a level of security by hiding internal IP addresses. Let's move on to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 5. Which routing protocol uses the dual algorithm and is proprietary to Cisco devices? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is C. EIGRP. EIGRP, Enhanced Interior Gateway Routing Protocol, is a routing protocol developed by Cisco. It uses the dual, diffusing update algorithm to calculate the best routes and make routing decisions. EIGRP is an advanced distance vector protocol that includes features like fast convergence and support for variable length subnet masks. Let's proceed to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 6. Which type of router interface is used to connect to a high-speed one link, such as a leased line? 
Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is C. Serial. Serial interfaces are commonly used to connect routers to high speed one links, such as leased lines or T1 E1 connections. Serial interfaces provide a reliable and efficient way to transmit data over long distances and are often used for point to point connections between network devices. Let's move on to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 7. What is the administrative distance of a directly connected route? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is A. 1. Administrative distance is a value that routers use to prioritize different sources of routing information. A directly connected route has the lowest administrative distance of 1, indicating that it is the most reliable source of information about a network segment. Routes obtained from other sources, such as routing protocols, may have higher administrative distances. Let's proceed to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 8. Which IPv6 address type is used for communication within the same local network segment? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is B. Link local. Link local addresses are used for communication within the same local network segment, such as a single LAN or subnet. They are automatically generated by devices and are not routable beyond the local network. Link local addresses are typically used for neighbor discovery and other local communication purposes. Let's move on to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 9. Which command is used to display the routing table on a Cisco router? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is A. Show IP root. The show IP route command is used on Cisco routers to display the routing table, showing the routes that the router is aware of and the next hop information for each route. This command is a fundamental tool for network administrators to diagnose and troubleshoot routing issues. Let's move on to the final question. Okay, let's go to question 10. Which routing protocol is a distance vector protocol that uses hop count as its metric? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is C. RIP. RIP, Routing Information Protocol, is a distance vector routing protocol that uses hop count as its metric. It measures the distance to a destination network by counting the number of routers, hops, that a packet must traverse. RIP has limitations in larger networks due to its slow convergence and limited hop count. Supplementary materials. The questions here are found in the email. Please comment with your email address in the comment section, and I will forward them to you. Please don't forget to subscribe and support my efforts. We will cover next topic from CCNA exam guide in the next video. Stay tuned.